Hey everyone, I hope everyone's had a, or had, or having a happy new year. Um, welcome to 2023 and hope it's a rewarding one for everyone. If you like any of the stuff I talk about, please like and subscribe. Um, it's recently hit 250 subscribers, so it's pretty cool. Um, just me just rambling to a um, 480p camera and, uh, you know, a bit of a knockoff microphone. So appreciate all the support and um, hope everyone's uh, well. Uh, just a quick one today, just around the benefits of magnesium, uh, particularly for dealing with ectopic heartbeats. So just for a bit of context, I had an ablation. So I've got some videos up on, on my channel um, around that probably six months ago now, um, just to treat uh, supraventricular tachycardia. And just for full context, if you want more information about the, the actual procedure, um, just jump to those videos, but just wanted to focus in on around ectopics or irregular heartbeats on this video because there's a very clear line sort of before and after. So prior to the surgery, I never got ectopics. I just got the arrhythmia, which was obviously very, um, very unsettling to get, you know, 250 beats a minute out of, out of nowhere. But then post the surgery, um, I didn't get, haven't had the arrhythmia since, which is obviously very good. And I've been pushing my, bo my body much more recently with the exercise and um, intensity just to, you know, see if it flares up and it hasn't, which is great. But what I have noticed um, more recently, well, not, not more recently, uh, probably it was about four weeks after the surgery, so probably five months ago now, um, was that I was getting really uncomfortable feelings of, you know, skip beats, which I definitely didn't get um, prior to the surgery. And that's completely normal um, because effectively what's happened is, and this is, you know, from the cardiologist, the elect electrocardiophysiologist, not from me just rambling, but it's effectively the loop's been closed where the the arrhythmia was able to set off and that, I guess, pause um, and delay in the contraction and the, and the um, what's called an ectopic, so just a skip heartbeat, is evidence actually that the procedure was successful, which is, which is good news, which is great news, obviously, um, for me in terms of having a good heart. <laughs> but um, just a quick one just around that is that it is uncomfortable. It's not, you know, it's it's um, something that, you know, if, if you're a particularly anxious person and you if, if sort of you feel every heartbeat type thing, then it's then it can be quite distressing. But um, just in terms of background on ectopics, they're not particularly dangerous in and of themselves, but you, you obviously have to consult with your cardiologist and get, get you know, relevant testing to ascertain if there's, there's an underlying issue there. But in and of themselves, if you're having, you know, if you're noticing it once or twice a day and you feel that sort of skip beat in the thud, um, then it's, you know, all, in all likelihood relatively benign, but that's, you know, obviously take that with a grain of salt. You've, you've got to consult with healthcare professionals around that type of stuff. But what I have noticed um, in, you know, my whole journey with this ectopics, and I would really recommend everyone who is currently dealing with something like this to get onto Sanjay Gupta. He's a Katong cardiologist, I believe he still is at uh, York Cardiology. So just search his name in Google and he's got a wealth of information, um, which is, you know, he's got a great bedside manner as well. He's very um, well versed in, you know, explaining and um, the, the benefits of, you know, magnesium and things like that. And also the, the genesis of ectopics as well. So for me, what I was finding was that um, I've never supplemented, supplemented with magnesium before and you know, once I went through all this content, it seemed pretty obvious that getting on magnesium supplementation was the right thing to do in terms of just general general health, but also definitely for someone who's had heart issues before, but also in just terms of things like blood pressure, anti-anxiety, and um, being able to curtail or reduce the amount of ectopic beats that, that I you have and also ultimately the aggressiveness of them, then that's something that was... Um, you know, seemed like a, like a no-lose situation for me because I was getting these regular beats. They, they are a bit uncomfortable. They're not the end of the world. On if SVT is 10 out of 10, this thing's a 0 0.001 out of 10. So it's not, it's not the end of the world, obviously, but it's just something that you'd rather not deal with because, you know, your mind can play tricks on you with this type of stuff and anxiety and heart um, issues are very, very closely interrelated and they can, you know, you can give yourself a... Um, nocebo effect pretty easily there but what i have found so i've been taking magnesium 
citrate, 150 milligrams of it. I take two a day, so one in the morning, one at night, just to cover off bases there. It's a bit higher than the recommended daily intake, but I haven't noticed any sort of adverse issues as oftentimes people complain about sore stomachs and you know a bit of nausea if you take too much. But for me, I'm a bigger guy. I'm probably around, I'm, well, right now I'd be around 95 kilos and you know not short. So it's, it's for me, I just, I'd rather take more than, than, the, than less. Um, but for me, it's, re- I've really noticed probably after the first week, week at least that it really reduced the frequency, the aggressiveness and just the, me even noticing, um, ectopic heartbeats. Now that could be a plus like just a placebo effect in that I've watched, you know, all these videos <laughs> and I'm just, I'm really, um, um, I guess, fine tuned with it and aware of my heartbeat and all that type of stuff. And if, even if it is, it's, it's worked. So I'm, uh, for me, um, seems like a, like a no, no brainer situation. It's very, magnesium is very cheap. And if, and there's certainly a well reputable, um, people out there, um, in the, in the cardiology sphere that, that highly recommend taking magnesium. And just for myself, for my own anecdotes, you know, for someone who suffered from, ectopic heartbeats post ablation it's something that has been very um very useful oh i just take it take it the way i take a multivitamin or finasteride net daily now and it's just something that i just don't think about and i've i just honestly have sort of come out the other side in terms of dealing with ectopic beats and um they're very infrequent now and i just don't notice them and when i do notice them i know that you know it's it's again they're they're completely normal healthy people with healthy hearts get ectopic beats so that's not something to be to um, paranoid or, or get anxious about. It's just a part of life. And it's a lot, a lot of it It also to do is with the interplay with your, your stomach and the um, pressure that gets put on the vagus nerve, just given I've noticed as well, if I'm particularly gassed, like belchy or like burping a lot that I feel a bit, um, a bit weird in terms of, you know, the skip beats and all that type of stuff. So not drinking too much fizzy drink and things like that, because it does put pressure. And if you, it's actually, if you just look it up on a, um, on a, on a chart in terms of a, like a body, body scan, it's the, 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 um, esophagus actually goes very close to the, the heart chamber in terms of putting pressure on there. So it's very interclose interrelated in that respect. So, you know, I'd recommend getting on magnesium as well, just because it, it's really, really can help in that respect. And it's, you know, very cheap. It's nothing, it's no, there's no, um, significant cost burden there. So that's just a bit of a ramble. Um, hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's um, keeping healthy and safe in the in 2023 so far. So all the best, everyone. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a bit more of this content and all that type of stuff. So ciao for now. Bye.